Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. For the community, by the community. the total success coach. Um, last month we reviewed um, the conference and we had some um, attendees and testimonials from the conference and today we'll be previewing um, the 2010 conference on Saturday June 5th. We'll be celebrating our uniqueness as women. We'll be applauding the often overlooked achievements that women make in um, business, in family, and in community development. We'll be refreshing and distressing and rejuvenating with spa treatments, massage therapists, and cosmetologists. And we'll be equipping with dynamic, dynamic seminars from inspirational speakers who will inspire and empower. Again, it's Saturday, June 5th, 2010 at the Connecticut Expo Center from 8.30 a.m. till 5 p.m. You don't want to miss this event. I am really just delighted because I have on the broadcast today a few, just a very few of some of the speakers, um, the planning board, as well as, you know, some presenters at the conference on the broadcast today who will be sharing um, their involvement and their participation at the conference, as well as we'll be talking about why women do not take enough time to care for themselves, that is celebrate, applaud, refresh, and equip themselves, and why we don't do it for each other. So um, well, help me to welcome to the broadcast today, Kathy McAfee, Cindy McDowell, Siban Becker, Kelsey Bands, and Margie Flory. Thank you, every one of you, for coming on to Inspire Success today. I'd like you to um, please introduce yourselves to our viewers. Tell us quickly what you do and um, how some of what you do helps to empower and equip women. Mm -hmm. I'm Kathy McAfee, the marketing motivator, and I help women and <laughs> uh, but today I'm helping women project more of your talent, power, and influence when you present your ideas and yourself to other people. And that happens in networking and relationship building, in giving presentations in the community, on the job. You know, whenever you've got to put your best self out there and project that and present that. So that is what I'm very passionate about. Yes, and I know Kathy also has a signature program, the Perfect Your Pitch isn't it? It's called the Perfect Your Pitch. And so, you know, you want to get a hold of this resource and you can learn more about Kathy and what she does at Kathy McAfee. Oh. Dot com or my other website, which is marketingmotivator.net. And actually, I, this also, in the context of this conference, I'm going to be talking about and sharing strategies with women on how to create more success in your life through networking, mm. through building relationships, through having conversations like we're having right now. Absolutely. So that will be my role at the Total Women's Conference. That is great. And, and we're looking forward to that. And, um, you know, we'll be back to Kathy in a few minutes. I'm Cindy Seacrest McDowell. Uh, I live in Wethersfield. And... I have writing and speaking called Encouraging Words. And what I really feel passionate about is encouraging women 
to embrace their unique identity, to live fully whatever their story is. And I fully believe that God is the one that created us and he wants to be part of our lives. And so for this kind of a conference, for the total woman, I'm really going to be there to encourage us to look at our soul and our spiritual life and how that's part of taking care of ourselves and partnering with God on this journey. And so I'm very excited about doing that. And you're the author as well of how many books? Um, I've written eight books of my own and contributed to 25. And so writing and speaking are what I do, and I really enjoy it. And your it. latest book is? Well, I brought the book Role of a Lifetime because um, Princess Bola and I both both believe that uh, we're called to have a role in this incredible uh, story, the, the kingdom story. And so I want to encourage women to look at what their role is in life, not just a certain hat they wear, but who they are intrinsically and uh, how that can be very exciting so to live that story absolutely yes. and um, they can learn more about Cindy at um, encouragingwords.net yes yes absolutely. I have a blog and website I, I, absolutely these are just a fraction of the speakers and, and presenters at the conference we have a power packed agenda for you that would truly, truly revolutionize and transform your life. You don't want to miss it. Um, so we go to Siban, if you would like yeah. to introduce yourself to viewers um, and kind of tell them what you do and how your, your business um, helps to kind of empower women. Everybody here on the broadcast, I mean, the business touch, um, you know, men and women, but um, especially there are some areas in which our, women, uh, our, our businesses touch women. Yep, definitely. And that's what I wanted you to. Um, that's a lot to follow. Focus. I wish I was somewhere else. <laughs> 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 or what would have you? We're all um, <laughs> exactly. We have our role. Um, my name is Savan Becker. I'm with Yoto Marketing Communication Solutions. Um, basically, what I do is help women, uh, small businesses, uh, to help to empower them uh, with their marketing, uh, with their business plan, and help to get them set up. Um, a lot of women run into a lot of. Uh, pitfalls and so forth, um, you know, kind of working with our emotions and so therefore a lot of times what can happen is we can get into trouble and what I try to do is to help to prevent that, really to be kind of a nurturing guide uh, rather than just a marketing person and buy this, buy that, but really try to help them through it um, and kind of do a little bit of coaching in there as well to kind of help them on an emotional level. And I am the marketing chair for the Total Women Conference and exactly. so I'm using my skills uh, to bring in sponsors and exhibitors. I have uh, quite a few years of sales experience so I put my sales hat back on and um, it's really been fun. I'm meeting a lot of incredible women um, that have a lot of incredible businesses um, that'll be there vending and exhibiting at the event, which is really going to add to a lot of the resources. And uh, absolutely, and we're well. talking about just before mm -hmm. we began the broadcast that one of the exhibitors owns a, a, a dressing, a clothing, um, right. a clothing business, and re unbelievable, mm -hmm. um, affordable, you mm -hmm. know, good quality stuff that she has there. And we have so many other exhibitors and vendors, mm -hmm. and that's something else you have to look forward to, you know, mm -hmm. come prepare to shop till you drop <laughs> and get all you bagging hunters. Honestly, yeah. I'm serious about that. You know, you can even bring your gold, you know, yep. we have part of your mm -hmm. gold coming mm -hmm. in. And so all you bargain hunters, get ready for all the discounts and bargains with a lot of kind of different businesses, whether it's for personal, professional life, you know, it, it's there. It's there at the Total Woman Conference on June 5th, 2010 at the Connecticut Expo Center. And so, Kelsey, you're yeah. the um, young professional <laughs> in the making that yes. we have on the panel today. Um, and I brought Kelsey in. You would remember, um, if you watched last month's show, that we also had a Vanessa Samuel, young professional, on, on, the, on the panel um, as we were reviewing the 2009 conference. Because, like I, I mentioned to you at the beginning of the broadcast, this is a multi-generational multi-generational conference. We want to start caring for our teens and our young adults, you know. So it's a conference that you can bring your daughter, your granddaughter, your niece, your nephew, well, not your nephew. <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay. We, to we carry do the allow bags. men. To carry we the do, bags. We do, we do allow the men. <laughs> yeah. The boys are coming too. At least I have two boys and they'll be at the conference. To carry the day. shopping bags. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> to, help, to help out. <laughs> In little ways. But, you know, it's a conference for every body. And so Kelsey is here um, and she's going to introduce herself. Um, she also is an intern of mine and she works with me on Royal Proclamations, the company that produces the Total Woman Conference. I'm Kelsey. Um, I'm Kelsey Barnes. I'm a sophomore at the University of Hartford. 
I am currently studying communications. Um, my emphasis is public relations and advertising. And um, my minor is psychology. Um, eventually, I want to be a teacher, but that has nothing to do with this. <laughs> um, but I'm Princess Bola's intern. Um, I've loved working with her. It's been a great experience, and I've definitely taken a lot out of it. Um, really excited for this Total Women Conference. I don't have a lot to do with it, um, but that's OK. We'll, we'll make the best of it. Um, but it'll definitely be a fun experience, and I'm really excited about it. It's great to have you on. And lastly, now definitely not list, is uh, Margie Flory. Um, um, and Marge is going to introduce herself and what she does at um, Nostrum and West Farms Mall. And she'll be sharing a little bit of how she's been helping women look great for the last 30 years. And she does look great. And by the way, she has a birthday coming up. <laughs> so we want to quickly happy just birthday. say happy birthday to you, thank Margie, you. for tomorrow. Thank yes. you. Thank you. Yes, my name is Margie Flory, and I've been an image consultant for about 35 years. Um, recently, I just started managing the cosmetic counter at Nordstrom for Yves Saint Laurent. Mm -hmm. So come visit me at Nordstrom. <laughs> um, but I've had a passion for women mm -hmm. for a long time, and I, I think mainly because I just wasn't born tall, thin, and whatever, <laughs> and it just wasn't easy for me trying to look good and feel good about myself. And so I've just been blessed to learn things, learn techniques, learn different things. It's not dressing for success. It's dressing for who you are and mm -hmm. to look your best yeah. for how God created you. Not when you lose 10 pounds, not when you're taller, not when mm -hmm. other things are happening, or not when it's a special occasion, mm -hmm. because we're the special occasion. That's and that's right. hard to accept for some people. And so at the Total Woman Conference this year, Bola gave me a great assignment, <laughs> which was to talk about what's underneath. Now, these ladies are going to talk about the good stuff, what's deep and underneath and bringing it out. And I'm getting a little more surfacey with it because <laughs> we're going to be talking about bras and spanks and do your <laughs> underpants things. fit, things like yeah. that. But 80% of the women are wearing the wrong bra size. And what happens is we think, oh, well, or nobody sees it. I, I, I think, you know, and, and thinking about my life, the last thing I wanted to invest in was something that people couldn't see. So that's where the safety pins were. That's when it was all frayed and all of that. But it takes a toll on how we look. And it also takes a toll on how we feel how about we feel, ourselves. Absolutely. Oh, so you see, I, I, aren't you already inspired? I'm fired <laughs> up. Just, just listening to these dynamic women, I'm already fired up. So you can just imagine what that day will be. Full day of inspiration, information, and transformation is awaiting mm. you at the second annual Total Woman Conference on Saturday, June 5th, 2010 at the Connecticut Expo Center in Hartford. Honestly, full dimension, full dimension. So we're going to go from the outer to the inner, you know. So whatever it is that you're looking for, it's available to you on that day. Whether you're looking for workshops to equip you, whether you want a, a free, quick massage. We have massage therapists who will be offering, you know, quick, free massages. And whether it is your, that you're looking for networking and how to build relationships and mo how to market yourself and, you know, how to discover your purpose, how to reach your dream, everything is there for you. The resources, the tools, the knowledge is waiting just for you, for, not for anybody else, for you at the Total Woman Conference on Saturday, June 5th, 2010. And, of course, you can go to the conference website at tributew totalwomanconference.com to learn more. And all you blokes out there, please, the best Mother's Day gift you can give to your mother or your grandmother, you know, or your wife is a ticket to this event. They will thank you forever and ever, honestly. And so, you know, we want to just now dive into our conversation today, and it's um, revolving around why women don't care for themselves, why we don't celebrate ourselves, why don't we refresh ourselves, why don't we applaud ourselves, and why don't we equip ourselves, why don't we invest in that, and then why don't we also do it for each other? You know, I've come, I've come to discover that many times, you know, women are the ones kind of be the B word, each other, you know, not supportive, not nurturing of each other. And so we want to be talking about that because I know that there's some viewer out there looking and thinking, you know, oh, I don't have the time. It's so-so's birthday. It's, you know, we make time uh, for everybody else. 
you know, but somehow when it comes to us, we just never seem to think we're, we're valuable mm -hmm. enough or we're worth it or we don't know why we need to invest this time. And I, I, I want us to, to talk about this. Women have a hard time being good to themselves. And my word to the women of today is, we need to take care of ourselves. So many people are depending on us. And if Absolutely. we could if we could realize that by taking time to nourish our soul, by taking time to be with others and network, by taking time to uh, engage both our mind and our bodies and everything, we become fuller people. We become content. We become empowered then to give out to others. Exactly. And so often what happens when a crisis comes and we're giving out, well, where are we going to refill that? Exactly. And so Total Woman Conference is such a place where you can come and be filled on, like you said, many different levels so that actually the person you bring home to the kids or the husband or to the job on Monday is a person who's more complete. They, they often say that you can't give what you don't have. Mm -hmm. And you see, you know, we, we're trying to give love and we're trying to give um, knowledge and we're trying to give all these things. But if you don't have it invested in you, mm -hmm. then, you know, you're not really giving out the right thing, you know. Mm -hmm. You're not giving out the right energy. And um, the reason why we get cranky and the reason why we get stressed and sick is because we become depleted. We don't take that time off to refill and to rejuvenate. And so we become depleted and we're running on empty. And then what happens? Eventually the engine knocks. You know, so um, and, and, and that's one reason why we really need to it's an investment of our time mm -hmm. to really kind of um, really you know, care for ourselves. And do you want to do you want to touch on that, Kathy? Well, I, I do some executive coaching. Uh, yes. And I've met a number of women who who have what I call limiting decisions and limiting beliefs. And there are things that have worked really well with them when they were younger. But now it's not really supporting what they want to do. Uh, the beautiful thing about a limiting decision or belief is you can change it like that. Yes. But this holding oneself back, this hesitation, this I can't make too much noise. I, um, I even see it, um, I'm a martial artist and I teach uh, women self-defense. One of the most incredible transformations is get women to find their voice mm -hmm. and to actually get them to yell and to, to have that... that um, I'll say the word aggressive posture that, that can actually save your life because no one's going to pick on you. But to get women to actually use their voice is, is an issue. But when they find it, they are unbelievable. Uh, yes. So Empowered. I think we. Power. Yes. Empowered. We just need, well, I, think, <laughs> I think we need to give ourselves permission. Exactly. To be and and I think some of that might be rooted as well in fear and some form of esteem here, mm -hmm. you know, which was why I really wanted, um, mm -hmm. you know, a workshop. I was saying to yes. Cindy, I want that workshop on identity development and esteem building because some of it is, has to do with esteem. It's rooted in a lack of self esteem. Or you where you go for that. Who do yeah. you allow to define you? And if you allow everybody else to, then exactly. you know, your props are pulled out from under you all the time. I, I imagine women are going to be sitting there listening to this and saying, there's two mindsets. Oh, I'm excited. I want to go. I'm going. I'm going to find a way. No matter what, I'm going. And then there's the mindset of, oh, it's going to cost money. I have to Saturday. give up a Saturday. Yes. I'm, well, maybe I'll go. The truth is you won't go. <laughs> the truth is that you need to go and you need to make a decision to go because we never go and do things unless we say, I'm going to do it. We know that it's tight for the economy. We know that it's tight for time and one more thing. But you know what? It's one thing that's going to change things for you. Exactly. Staying home and cleaning or resting or whatever it is is not going to be life changing. On that day, it's going to be life changing. Exactly. I mean, the connections, the connections. You don't know who you're going to meet. You don't know whose testimonial or whose presentation is going to change your life. Right. You know, and so whether you're out of a job or in a job or in transition, 
you want to make that time to be in there mm -hmm. because you just never know, you know. And 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 we went. And you found out you're not alone. Exactly. Whatever the struggle That's right. is, exactly. whatever the challenges, and just being with other women. E exactly. It, it, There's going to be is. transparency. It's it, important to do that. Mm -hmm. yeah. And and Kelsey, with you and I were talking about it, yeah. and I was last night, and I was saying to you, is that relevant to you? Do do you find at your age, uh, with your generation, there's not enough t um, care that is celebrating, applauding, refreshing, and equipping of themselves? I do. I think that um, as, as older, sorry, ladies, as older <laughs> women, <laughs> 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 as older women, um, <laughs> we honor you, we it. Yes. They go through more, I agree. Um, but I also feel as a college student and even as an older um, young adult, I guess you could say, um, <laughs> You know, we do have to deal with a lot, and I do think that um, we we don't necessarily applaud ourselves. We don't take care of ourselves. There's always something that comes up. Oh, I got to do that. Oh, I got to do this. Or I got to do homework. Or you know, whatever it is. There's always something that gets in the way of you relaxing, or you just going to get your nails done. It could be getting your nails done. It could be getting your hair done. It doesn't matter. It's something that we just don't tend to have time to do. To do. And I notice it a lot in college and. You know, exactly. Even my parents. <laughs> exactly. So time is a, is something that um, you know it's a challenge yeah. sometimes that um, limits women from really taking care of themselves. They feel, they believe. I think it stems in the belief things because you know where there's a will, there's a way, yep. and we really make time for things we truly value. You know, mm -hmm. but there's this false belief that oh, I don't really have the time. Like Margie was saying, I can't give up a Saturday or you know have to take the daughter or the dog somewhere else. But why not you? Why not you for that day? You know, um, but you know, I do agree that you know time sometimes finding that balance mm -hmm. to take time out for ourselves can be a challenge. For some women, but um, you know, you have less than thirty days, but you still have up to thirty days to make, <laughs> make it happen. Decisions. Get a get a babysitter for the dog or yeah. the cat <laughs> or, or your daughter, whatever you need or to do. Or your husband. And, yeah. um, you know, and because of the economy, we deliberately kept it less than fifty dollars, very affordable for a full one day event that includes box lunch and material. Mm -hmm. So that really shouldn't be a problem. Start saving a dollar a day, and hey. You know, you'll be good to go. And, um, you know, um, Siban, you know, I know you are on the conference board and um, part of what you're doing, like you mentioned at the beginning, was really um, getting in the, the sponsors and the vendors. Mm -hmm. And that's part of what we have um, you know, lined up for you some empowering resources, you know, small businesses, multi-level businesses that would empower you, you know, for financially and, and just the opportunity to get bargains and things like that. And But what have you been finding to be the response in terms of, um, you know, the vendors and... Um, you know, exhibit at the, for the company. I actually wanted to get on on this whole care and apply yes, and celebrate, yes. but the vendors, it's been great. I think um, one of the things that I'm finding is a lot of the women are excited about being there. Yes. Um, I think that there's a lot of women starting businesses. It's amazing to yes. me. You know, everything from handbags uh, to health products. Um, you know, there's a woman that actually has a business where she's helping people to find the right fitted the underwear, and I was right. like, really? Yes. You know, it was yeah. kind of interesting to me. Yes. And so there's a lot of wonderful women out there that want to help and um, there's always like that multitasking. They're yeah. at their job. They're like, hold on for a minute. And, you know, they're always apologetic, but I'm like, don't even do what you got to do. You're, yeah. you're making it happen. You're making that time. And good, so, good. And what did you want to, um, you know, jump in? You wanted oh, to. Oh, yeah, I did. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. I think we just need to spend more time on the celebrate and the applaud part. Um, yes. I think that we spend so much time beating ourselves up. Um, I yes. went to a women's event a couple of months ago, and it was supposed to be something empowering and so forth. And women were standing up and saying, well, as women, we're so emotional. Well, as women were this and were that, and I'm like, yeah, I, I don't think that that's the way we should talk about ourselves. I think that our emotion is our strength. It's mm -hmm. part of our role in, in, um, in the kingdom, mm -hmm. and I think that it's important. I think we should say, okay, I'm emotional, yay. Let me use that as a strength. Yeah. Yes, it has its downfalls, yeah. but it's a good thing. Even mm -hmm. if I am someone that's sitting at home, kind of weighing those options. Should I go to this? You know, it's Saturday. Can I take the time? I think that's a good thing that we're that kind of person that cares. It shouldn't always, it shouldn't be a negative um, in some sense. We should say, hey, that's good for me. Good for me that I'm you know that kind of person that really cares about people. And um, and then take that time, like you said, to to make sure that we take care of ourselves so we can take care of others. 
But it's definitely something that needs to be applauded, that needs to be uh, embraced, not yeah. not ridiculed and go, oh, you're so emotional. It's like, yeah. hey, you're a great, caring person. Mm -hmm. Thank you. But now take care of yourself. And really that, that nice, and, and, and I saw spend. the need. I saw that there was a need for women to start celebrating each other, applauding our often overlooked achievements. And so this, this year is no different at the Total Woman Conference will be honoring, you know, three women, you know, everyday women, women like you and I, who struggle but who's overcome, you know, and we'll be honoring three women. We'll be refreshing with spa treatments, cosmetologists, Margie's gonna be there, you know, um, and, and equipping, and with massage therapists as well, and we're gonna be equipping with all these dynamic speakers, you know, and the state treasurer, Denise Napier, uh, Leslie Mills, um, one of our keynote speakers, Jim Randall is going to be there, Kathy Caprino, and the list just goes on and on and on. And there's a workshop on every sphere of your life, including workshops for teens. So you don't want to leave your young daughters um, behind. Saturday, 2000, Saturday, June 5th, <laughs> 2010, at the Connecticut Expo Center in Hartford www.totalwomanconference.com. I look forward to seeing you there. I want to say a big, big, big thank you. Thank Time you is you we're definitely not out of words. We're definitely not out of words. <laughs> no. no. We could go on and on. Okay? And, and we will on June 5th. <laughs> on June 5th, we'll June continue 5th. the conversation. And, um, you know, we, we're out of time. But I want to say thank you for tuning in. This is Princess Bola Adelani, the Total Success Coach, reminding you to keep learning, keep networking, keep smiling. Come on, put a smile on your face. <laughs> keep believing. Keep on keeping on. You're on the winning side. I'll see you next time, and I'll see you on Saturday, June, June 5th, 2010, at the Expo Center at the Total Woman Conference. Come up to me. Walk up to me and tell me you're one of my viewing audience. You know, the, the official launch of this broadcast is also going to be there, and the mayor of West Hartford is going to be doing the ribbon cutting. See nice. you then. Thank you so much. God bless.